What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Slenderman. Slenderman is based off this urban myth from years ago, and it's still kind of in fruition, but not as big as it used to be. Back in like my sophomore year of high school, me and my friends downloaded that free-to-play game, played the hell out of it, because it was fun. You get a bunch of group of people, blast the speaker up, put some headphones on, and see who gets scared first, where Slenderman, who can survive the longest. It was fun doing that. And this film for me, I remember when I heard the trailer was finally coming out, I'm like, really? A Slenderman movie? Now? This is like five years past, and the film feels five years past. The film makes you feel like the script is just sitting somewhere, and they dusted it off, and they're like, hey, we can make like $20 million off this, let's do it. Put it in development, put some nice little actresses, up-and-coming actresses, put, throw an up-and-coming director in there, and let's just get this thing rolling. Let's not even check the script, let's not even check how good it is, let's, let's just throw it. Because that's what this film is. It's a waste of potential. It's a waste of crap. That's what it is. And I, I, I let me get to my good parts first. Let, like, let me get to my good moments first. I will give the director all the credit. The guy made some good visual choices in here. He did a solid job directing this film with the visual choices. The script, in, on the other hand, is the big issue. And also the performances in here, pretty solid. Each and every girl was pretty good. No one was great. No one was magnificent. No one was jaw-dropping awesome, but no one was dear god awful either. Everyone was decent. Everyone did a good job, and if I see them in something in the future, I hope they have a better script to work with, because the script is the big issue of this film. They made one script of it, not even rewrote it, didn't even check it, put it in development, that's all it went through. And Slenderman is just that. If you want to see a good version of Slenderman, check out Marble Hornets on YouTube. It's a really underrated thing on YouTube about Slenderman. It's, about, it's so cool. It's so cool. I don't even want to spoil it. It's spooky, it's creepy, and it's worth watching. This is what's wrong with just horror films in general. This film has all the cliches of a horror film, except the cat jumping out. That that was nice not to have a cat jump out of you, but it has all the typical horror films that are going to pop out. It has all the typical jump scares that are going to pop out, and nothing ever made me jump. Everything was very laughable. I mean, my whole audience was laughing harder than they laughed in any other comedy I've seen this year. Because it is a laughable film. Slenderman looks horrible. He looks like the CGI creature. When he finally pops up you're like oh that's him okay and the whole time I was watching this film I just found myself sitting there saying how can I make this film better I was literally putting different ideas like okay this is a cool concept if you tweaked it a little bit you can make it even better I feel like if this film was found footage this would be the perfect film for a movie that was found footage I'm not even joking like it's just like if, if you took the ritual and mixed it with a Blair Witch project and threw Slenderman in there it would be like a, a perfect it would be perfect. You'd have good scares in there, a good mythology building in there, and some cool things. But the thing that this film builds on is it's trying to use this urban mythology with input phones and technologies and the video and kind of like mix it in with like the ring, but it doesn't work like that. It's a cool concept, but you don't execute it right like the first ring does. It's where this whole film falls apart for me is the whole technology aspect is just there. It's not working. It's I, I literally got to the point where I started counting how many times that they pulled up their phone or they went through a, a chat or they were texting someone you see for like there's probably one scene in research where they're literally researching something and it's like 10 minutes long it felt like god awful 10 minutes long so just drag the movie down the whole movie's pacing was just so slow film felt like two hours when it was only an hour and a half maybe even longer than that it got to the point where people started dying i'm gonna be straight up honest i was just hoping slender would just start killing them off faster Please, kill them off faster. Even got more dumb toward the end, where one of the girls says, Take me! Take me! And Slenderman cuts up, grabs, tries to grab her, and she starts running away. You just said to take you. You just extended the runtime of this film, like, not even joking, probably 20 more minutes. Because you didn't just let him take you. <sighs> Again, like I said, you want to see a better version of Slenderman? Go check out Marble Hornets. I, I, I literally paid $12 to go take a nap. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I fell in the sleep in and out. I woke up to crap. I didn't care what was going on the whole entire time. Yeah, the actors were decent. The directing was pretty good. There were some cool visuals in there. I'll admit that. Some eerie sounds, but just your cliche horror film. I think this is a pretty cool character. He has a cool design to him, and I think inputted right into a film with a better script, with a better story, with characters you actually care about that you're just not want characters that you just want them to die on screen so the film will end. 
Slenderman could have been a better film. It had good potential in it, and it just didn't turn the way you wanted it to. I'll give it this. So, I like that they inputted some Easter eggs from the original video game that, that was free to play. They inputted some of the sounds, and I thought that was clever. I, I'll admit that. I like that. And I heard those, and it brought me back to the old days. Oh, it said, I'm going to give Slenderman a D-. It might be the worst film I've seen all year long, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this film. So make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are on Slenderman. What was your first thing with Slenderman? Was it the game? Was it Marble Hornets? Was it something else? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. I really do hope this character gets another limelight on the screen, maybe down the road, like way past this film. Because I think the character does have a cool aesthetic to him, and I think with a better script and a better characters, I think this movie would have worked. Of course, guys, if you're also new here, hit up Sandwich on Films down below, because down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens. You can also check out some movie news and also some movie movie reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching this rant slash review, I guess. And of course, until next time, stay classy.